Puget Sound. Meteorologist Taryn Peck joins us. Taryn, how long is this haze going to stick around? It's going to get better by tomorrow. And today and yesterday were pretty unpleasant. Anytime we get into the pattern where it's sunny and warm, those are the conditions that allow the smoke to settle back in. And I can show you where today's problems came from. This is the high resolution satellite from earlier today. See all the brown stuff over here? It looks more like chocolate milk rather than the white puffy clouds. That's all the smoke. A lot of it coming from southwestern Oregon. In fact, if we come in for a closer look on the next satellite, here's southwestern Oregon. Here's the fire we were just talking about on I 5, the Delta fire. Those were throwing a lot of smoke into the air. And if we switch over to the weather computer, we pulled enough of it in that right now we're reading in the yellow category. That means moderate. It was worse than that earlier today. This is a look back at air quality for downtown Seattle over the last seven days. The further you go that way, the closer you get to now. Look what happened today. There was a big spike. You see the orange line going across the top there? We crossed it this afternoon. That means we entered into the unhealthy category again. We'd hope those days were behind us. Well, we did it again today. But the good news is, as we take a look at the forecast, here's that weird psychedelic looking view of the smoke future cast. See which way the smoke's all going? Starting tomorrow, it's a strong onshore flow. More, more interesting things to talk about weather wise, by the way, like a chance of rain for a lot of the seven day forecast. And there's your air quality forecast. It's going to get better, guys. I'll be back with more on that chance for rain. That's the next item of discussion. Back over to you guys. Okay. Glad that smoke is clearing out, Darren. Thank you. Uh, Seattle Mayor